It's a Fox 61 exclusive look at the future of aviation at Sikorsky Aircraft. This summer, there will be a whole new production line inside the Stratford manufacturing plant. The company will be assembling a state-of-the-art heavy lift helicopter for the U.S. Marine Corps. This is really exciting. And Fox 61's Amanda Rouse went to Sikorsky, and she spoke with the president about how this Connecticut company is changing the rules of combat. We're talking about the 53K King Stallion. The first one was delivered just yesterday to the Marine Corps Air Station, in North Carolina, so that the Marines can conduct a logistic assessment. Now, last year, Sikorsky was awarded the contract to build 200 of them for the Marines, and production is set to start in Stratford within the next few months. We got a look inside as the manufacturing floor gets ready for assembly. Well, the next big thing for us, we have we have the 53K coming, and that's going to fill up one whole side of our line down here, and that uh, that's a good news because it's jobs, it, it creates the uh, supplier base, everybody else coming in. And as it comes in, the landscape of the manufacturing floor at Sikorsky and Stratford will be changing. It's hard to imagine just looking at this helicopter, but the K is uh, about another 10 feet higher and goes back two helicopters long from this, so you can see how much bigger space that is. Here's the Black Hawk tail rotor blade. That's a 53K tail rotor blade. That's a big difference. If you'll come here and look, see the curve on this? This is all one piece. This is titanium bent and curved to match composite material that goes together. Sikorsky President Dan Schultz says it needs to be bigger for the helicopter's heavy lift ability. It's a feature that makes the 53K enticing for the military because it's big enough for a Humvee to drive inside, which hasn't been done before. You know, ever since uh, we went into uh, Desert Shield and Desert Storm, all of the vehicles that the Army and the Marines use to get along are Humvees, right? And we've up-armored them, we've put a lot more armor on them for IEDs, and uh, because they've, uh, the enemy has uh, evolved to trying to use IEDs to deny access for military, and it's a very dangerous evolution. So the ar armor on our Humvees have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and so they're heavier in weight. And we need helicopters to be able to lift them to higher altitudes and longer distances, and that's what the 53K will bring to the Marine Corps. It can be used in search and rescue operations, delivering aid and transporting troops. So it gives them the power to really go to places they haven't been able to go, and it lifts all of the heavy lift equipment that the Marine Corps has. Schultz knows firsthand how essential those functions are because he served in the Marines and was one of the first Marine pilots to train under the 53E at Sikorsky. When I took over the company, I stood up and I said, I'm one of the guys that you brought home everywhere every time, and I'm very proud of that. And all these employees that get up every, to work every day have that same motivation to bring us all back everywhere, and that, that makes me feel good about being in this job. Sikorsky spokesman Paul Jackson says the 53K production will happen in phases, with the first few contracts calling for two or three aircraft. Then, as we get into larger production in several years, the workforce will ramp up significantly. Currently, there are about 7,900 Sikorsky employees right here in Connecticut. I'm Amanda Rouse, Fox 61 News.